Well, remember back when the story of Tiger Woods was first beginning to be told for real. Thanksgiving of 2009, the one-car crash that he was in, allegedly after a fight with his now former wife, and then the women that came forward, the tawdry and embarrassing stories that were told. Remember how we were also told by the media intelligentsia, broadcasters, pundits, well, that's just his private life. Sure, it's bad for his family and his marriage, as if those are just trifle things, but it won't impact Tiger Woods as a golfer at all. That's just a totally different world. You know, a man can set aside his private life and focus on the task at hand. Remember that? Yeah, we heard a lot of those discussions during the Clinton presidency as well, yet most of us, frankly, remember more of those discussions than the rest of the Clinton presidency. Same exact thing here with Tiger Woods, and I was thinking about that again today when the news broke that he's now also going to skip the British Open after skipping the U.S. Open in June. The reason that's news is because Tiger Woods hasn't won a golf tournament since the story of his secret life finally came out. That's right, he hasn't won a single tournament. The man many thought would lap Jack Nicklaus's record of 18 majors can't even win a pro-am since this story broke. He was the number one golfer in the world, perhaps the number one star in the world. Now, now he's just a guy named Tiger who's fodder for tabloids. Once again, this lie that your private morality somehow has no bearing on your public performance or persona is just exposed as an outright lie. Ask Tiger Woods today. And yes, I know that he's had some injury problems, but he wasn't winning golf tournaments before he had the injury problems. He hasn't been the same. He's lost his marriage. He's going to have a terrible story to tell his children when they're old enough to hear it. And he's already lost billions of dollars. And true, he had billions of dollars to start with, just not as many as he once did with the alimony and child support still to come. And the amount of money that he's lost, or the amount of currency, I should say, that he's lost in terms of prestige, you can't put a price tag on that. It's very clear that the most important thing in Tiger Woods' life was being known as the greatest golfer of all time. And because he put that first, and not truly what are the most important things in life, he may now never reach his goal. That's a story, that's a cautionary tale for others who think that misplaced priorities and private hypocrisies somehow won't ever come to light and you'll be able to keep that secret at bay. Tiger Woods had all kinds of opportunities to keep his secret a secret. He had advantages to doing so that most of us that have things going on in our lives we don't want other people to know about, would never have. Employees who have a vested interest in keeping his secrets. Millions of dollars at stake where he can keep people quiet if he needs to. And still, still, the secret things came into the light. There's a story there. Story there for those of you who think that whatever you're doing in your private life has no bearing on how you oversee your family, your church, your company, your elected office, maybe you should call Tiger Woods and ask him if that's true. Thanks for joining us today at SteveDace.com. You can email me if you'd like, Steve at SteveDace.com. You can also find me on Facebook at Stephen Dace or on Twitter at Steve underscore Dace. God bless.